From KQED Public Radio, I'm Andrea Kishik with the Quest Radio Report, our weekly look at science and environmental stories. As the Bay Area has become more urban, many wild animals have disappeared, but not mountain lions. These large cats live surprisingly close to us, and yet they're not as dangerous as many believe. Researchers in the mountains above Silicon Valley are now using new technology to learn about these elusive animals. David Gorn reports. For such a high-tech project, this whole thing starts off in a pretty low-tech way. Uh, my name is Chris Wilmers. Uh, we're tracking lions today. Wilmers is a biologist from the University of California at Santa Cruz. And right now, he's high up in the thick brush of the Santa Cruz Mountains on the outskirts of Big Basin State Park. Wilmers wants to put tracking hardware on the mountain lions that live in these hills. But first... He has to catch them. Hey, hey, hey. And that means trekking out into the middle of the forest with three hunting dogs, two other researchers, a professional tracker, and an armful of equipment. Hey, Terry, could you grab the gun? And then finally, after the dogs snuffle across the scent of a lion, <laughs> they let loose the hounds. Oh, hey, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Lions get tuckered out really quickly and the dogs can just keep going forever. This is the life of a mountain lion researcher. Wilmers is catching and sedating mountain lions, also known as pumas or cougars, so he can track them. Yeah, so one of the things we're trying to figure out in this study is, you know, how are lions moving through this landscape? Part of that landscape includes busy roads. Mountain lions can't safely cross freeways like Highway 17. So as housing developments expand, lions are hemmed in between roads and people. One recent study in Southern California found that mountain lions traveling at night actually use some of the same roads and trails that humans do, and that during the day, they're often sleeping within 100 yards of those well-traveled trails. Cougars are called the stealth predator. And these large animals blend into the scenery so completely that people sometimes can't see them even when looking right at them. My encounter was uh, occurred in the Marin Headlands. I, I'm a marathon trail runner, so I was running at dusk. That's Zara McDonald, who's now sitting near her office along the lip of San Francisco Bay in Tiburon. She had a rare run-in with a puma about seven years ago. I turned, I heard a rustle, I turned and there was a mountain lion at eye level looking, staring me down maybe three, four, four feet away and I just, we stared at each other and he casually turned and walked away and I of course didn't move for three, four, five, ten minutes, I don't even remember. That encounter was extremely rare. There are currently up to 6,000 mountain lions in the state and yet there have only been 14 attacks over the last 100 years. People have more chance of being hurt by deer in California, officials say. Zara McDonald's chance encounter helped lead her to create the Felidae Fund, an international nonprofit helping big cats. It's now part of the Bay Area Puma Project, which hopes to use Wilmer's data to protect mountain lions. Back up in the Santa Cruz Mountains, Wilmers and his hounds have spent all day crashing through the brush, chasing the scent with no results. When the dogs do tree a mountain lion, Wilmers shoots the cougar with a tranquilizer dart. He attaches a GPS tag to the collar and straps on another high-tech gizmo called an accelerometer. It's got a three-axis accelerometer on it that is measuring the accelerations of the collar. Uh, every 30th of a second. That accelerometer measures every footstep the lion takes and can tell researchers whether the lions are walking, sleeping, or hunting, and help them figure out an elemental question. Is the species here just getting by and surviving, or is it actually thriving? So he's using telemetry equipment, laptop computers, and hidden cameras in the forest to keep tabs on the cougars and he's collared four lions so far. All of this effort is worth it, he says, because these animals are not just an icon of the West, they're also an essential part of the environment. The lions like to hunt deer along the creeks. Well, then the deer are going to start avoiding the creeks. 
and then whatever the deer were eating along the creeks is going to start to do much better than it was. And by knowing how the mountain lion lives and where it roams, biologists can help them remain invisible to humans. Ideally, researchers say, they'll eventually figure out where to establish wildlife corridors to allow lions to move more freely, to get under some of the big roads, to help them move away from encroaching civilization. For Quest, I'm David Gorn, KQED Radio News.